honeycomb kind of texture here on the top. Look how that opens up. <laughs> That's mad. How amazing is this car? What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie here in Paris and I am with the Renault Trezor and I want to show you around this incredible car. So currently I'm in drive. I'm just going to pull that back into park and then here's how you turn the car off start start stop button and then you've got to actually pull your phone out this car is so special you guys that i've been trying to get a hold of this car for two years to show you what is going on i've just been looking at it on pictures and thinking i need to drive this car and this is one of the most advanced concept cars out there you know sometimes you get concept cars that uh look incredible but they don't actually drive this one is fully drivable. Uh, it's been tested on the track before. It's been driven through mountain ranges, zero to 100 in less than four seconds. Big shout out to my Supercar Blondie family. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet, just click the subscribe button below the video because this is where you're gonna see the most incredible cars around the world. Right, let's get straight to it. Now, I know when we do concept cars, sometimes you guys complain, you're like, oh, but it opens too slowly or whatever, right? Check out how fast this closes. Boom, done. Matter of seconds. Isn't that just crazy beautiful? And then take a look at this honeycomb kind of texture here on the top. Look how that opens up. <laughs> That's mad. I've never seen that before. How beautiful does it look? It's not just for design, it's actually for function. This is actually designed as an air intake. So what it does is it throws air through the batteries here in the front. So there are batteries here in the front and then batteries in the back. This, when we open the top again, I'll show you, but this hexagonal kind of honeycomb effect runs through the whole car. It's here on the front. It's also on the tires, which I'll show you in just a sec. And then take a look at this. This is a carbon fiber body that has the honeycomb shape all the way through. That is incredibly beautiful. I've never seen that before. And this is just a design feature that they wanted to kind of pull the whole car together. This is also crazy cool. This I've never seen before either. These tail lights here. Look how, first of all, this is a laser fiber a light. You see how you can touch them? They're all little beams running through here. And then when you break, watch what happens. They actually move. What? Did you see that? What? So you brake and it does that. Where have you ever seen that before? That is so cool. You know, I just love that they're kind of thinking really outside the box with this car and the fact that it's not just design. It is literally fully drivable, which is so, so cool. I'll open up the top again and look how when the top opens, these headrests automatically move back so that you can get in easily. So the pedals here, you can adjust to move towards you or back away from you just with these buttons here. You see that? And then I always have them <laughs> as close as possible. And just look how big the interior is. They're actually really proud of this interior. It's almost like when you open this canopy, it's like opening a treasure box to see all of the, the beauty inside. And the red they've chosen because it symbolizes romance and love. And just the lines on it are so sleek that it's meant to be super romantic and all about, yeah, the, the future of, um, yeah, romance and sleek design. So we're just going to- falling in love with it? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, I am falling in love with it. It's so beautiful. Um, we're going to actually talk to Lawrence, who's the head uh, designer here at uh, Renault, and he's going to join us shortly. So anything that I've missed, we're going to pick his brains just to see why he has designed it in this way. You see this honeycomb shape 
again running through the tires and what's cool about this tire also is is that it has two different types of rubber so you've got the hard rubber and also the soft rubber the cool thing about electric cars is that you get more storage space instead of having this part be the engine you've actually got all of this as storage this here is luggage so here and over here you can either use this suitcase or you can bring your own we can actually take it out you know take this one out fully i think i need there we go so look so you can just carry that one around Three. All right, cool. So we're going to go for a bit of a drive. I've already driven it a bit today, but I want to show you internally what happens when you, yeah, turn it on. Are you wanting to shoot the corner? You're fully like enclosed in this glass canopy and look at the vision. You've got nothing in your way, which I really, really like. You see all the way around and yeah, they've tinted it red so that, you know, it falls in line with the romantic theme of the car. Okay, right, let's start and now drive. Okay. Headrest, I'm gonna bring that forward a little bit. You ready? Ready. Okay, when I lift my foot off the brake, it's just gonna go. So, here we go. Turn. Stopping the traffic. Okay. Zero to a hundred in less than four seconds. It's a fast car. Oh. I just love that this car is fully functional. You know, you can literally drive this on the street. That is so cool. So, so cool, you guys. Dang. Thank you so you. much for having us Good here. So this is Lawrence, everyone. And he is Hi. the man behind this incredible design. It's awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's when amazing. I see it outside, I kind of want to get in and drive. Yeah, you know? every time, right? Because yeah. it's been out for four years now, right? Yeah, 16, 2016. It yep. was the kind of the start of a new generation of uh, Renaults. Right. And we always want to start with a beautiful statement, you know, a design yeah. of beauty, but yeah. also telling a story of love. And I think you already covered this. Right, right. I know. kind of got the romantic vibes from the car. Yeah, the car is, tells a story and that's always nice. <laughs> Even though you've had this out since 2016, every time you look at it, you're still kind of in awe, right? Yeah, it's a superstar. In fact, this car is traveling the world. It's, yeah. uh, it's the most famous car that we have at the moment. It's won every single prize that you can imagine. So what kind of prizes has it won, actually? Well, it's won Villa d'Este, it's yep. won Chantilly, it's won best concept car of the year in yep. Geneva. In fact, I think any prize that you can imagine, it, it's won <laughs> it's because won <laughs> it was the supermodel of the year. It's incredible. It's like yeah. a celebrity, guys, and we get our hands on it today. And I'm so happy to be able to show you this car. Well, we wanted to tell a story of a, a, a feminine and a male side because we're a human brand. We want this car to look as human as possible. Right. So therefore, we yeah, use sure very essential shapes. Mm -hmm. Because we feel this, com you know, humans are not square. We're not. We don't have edges. Yeah. But at the same time, we wanted to give you a, a feminine and a masculine feeling. So the, the, the hexagonal shapes are masculine. Right. This we're using a new technology. It's called parametric design. It's uh, the computer, in fact, creates the surfaces because wow. you wouldn't be able to design every single one yourself. Yeah, exactly. And we chose for the masculine side the hexagonals, and then for the feminine side. Yeah. It's all loose and shiny and brilliant and... Uh, the sleek lines. Yeah, and the two shapes are interlocking, so it also gives you an impression of the male and the female ah. shape. Ooh, and then like you're making inside. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. All the French, they know how to be romantic, and, don't and they? And the opening is just like <laughs> when you when you're, when you you're have somebody who proposes, he opens up the box, ah, you know? Yes. This is why this whole car ah, opens up like I this. I see. Yeah, okay, so I thought it was more like a treasure chest, but it actually, it's an engagement ring. Exactly. <laughs> it's a treasure box. Tresor. This is why it's a treasure. That is so cool. Yeah. So we put even in here 
uh, a sign of two rings interlocking. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. I didn't even see that and feature. The idea is that if you sit inside and you push this ring, yeah. the car will switch to autonomous mode ah, and okay. you can enjoy your champagne together and you don't have to drive. So Stop. That is, is the, so cool. Because we're thinking, you know, if you want to drive, we can give you an, an awesome experience. Yeah. But if you don't want to drive, we give you the most relaxing experience. So it's not like you stop driving, but yeah. you know, there's stages in life where I don't like to drive, but yeah. there's many opportunities where if you see a couple of curves coming up, you just switch back and then you True. give you the best experience True. possible. Something like this, is this doable on a Renault car today or very soon in the future? Can we see these kind of design elements? Never. <laughs> no, it's 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 easy to make. Right, I'm gonna okay. say, but imagine if you damage this, what would happen? Yeah, you know, true, it would okay. be a nightmare. It's to just repair. so costly. Yeah, yeah, this is the difference between the the concept car. It's it's literally a supermodel that wears haute couture. You know, wears the the impossible clothes that uh, look good on stage on a on a uh, on a picture, but they wouldn't be very practical in daily life. Fair enough. Know? What mm -hmm. I'm really impressed with guys and I said this before is that this is a fully drivable functional concept car and you don't get that very often when concept cars look this good they usually a don't even drive or they drive maybe five kilometers an hour mm. why do you guys make sure that the cars are fully drivable and can go you know 160 170 kilometers an hour yeah we do it because we want to uh, it looks really good on TV you know <laughs> Love it. I mean, yeah. We know what that's about. So you yeah. guys are working on something now, right? Yeah, we're always we're, we're always plenty of ideas. You know, there's too many of ideas yeah, too, to go around. Your not brain enough, is exploding. Uh, yeah, right? Pro, not enough <laughs> budget. <laughs> if you want to see me review the next Renault concept car, this is Lawrence's Instagram. Go give him some love. Say you're here because you want me to review the next concept car and we can try and make it happen. Let's do this. Let's do it. Is when that is a deal? That? Yeah, rock and roll. Yes. I love it. Okay, that's it peeps. Right, one day in Paris just to film with this incredible car. Make sure to subscribe and click that little button as well, the little bell, because that'll let you know as soon as one of these awesome cars has gone on my channel love you guys so much a massive thank you to Renault for inviting me here today and also to Lawrence for uh, showing me around his baby the chief designer here at Renault right I'm out love you bye